If you've been combing through YouTube trying to figure out how Suno AI works and you're still confused and you've come to the right video because in this video I'm going to walk you through every single button in a very easy to understand way. And if you need an easy way to remember all of this I created this guide called Suno Made Simple. You can get that in the link in the description. It's a 46 page ebook that has everything you need to know about Suno, what every single button does, what meta tags are. So this is the home page of Suno AI. And and basically this is just the place where you listen to music this has nothing to do with creation they had this little for you section basically gives you song recommendations based on what you've listened to in the past under following you can see all of the artists and creators that you follow or you can check the trending charts and if you scroll down they've also added these remix contests and we'll go more into detail on remixing later on in the video and then they've got hooks which we will also go over later on next we have the create tab which is where where we're going to be spending most of our time first off on the right hand side you have all of your generations laid out into what is called a workspace and all a workspace is is a place to organize your music so let's say that you have an ai band or you're trying to generate songs for a specific style you can keep that in a different workspace so for instance these are some of my workspaces for different projects that i've worked on but by default you're just going to be in my workspace and it's it's just going to put all your generations into one spot. On the left hand side we have where we actually create the music. They have a simple tab and a custom tab. The simple tab is just going to be where you do one prompt and it's very limited but it's also very easy so let's just say you wanted a hard rock song about a guy named sam who wants more pudding that's it that's all you have to do you click create and then Suno will generate two songs for you. Sam wants pudding, chocolate or vanilla. And that's pretty much it for the simple tab. It's very simple. Who would have thought? So if we switch over to the custom tab, it opens up a whole lot of options. It has now separated the prompt box into two different sections. So now we have lyrics and style. The style box is basically where you're going to tell Suno the genre and the mood and the overall vibe of your song. So we'll just say hard rock, electric guitars, and the lyrics are where you're going to put things like meta tags and your lyrics. And if you're having some trouble coming up with lyrics, you can click this magic wand and go to write full song. And then you can just type what you want your song to be about. So let's say dude named Dean accidentally starts the apocalypse while in hell. If you know what that's about, I love ya. And then Suno is gonna give you two different songs based on what you wrote. And you can select which one you want and then it'll bring it into the lyrics box. So let's just go over meta tags because it's something that sounds super confusing but it's actually really easy. All meta tags are, are words that you put in brackets in the lyrics section. So this can be things like song structure, for instance, chorus, or bridge or verse. You can see Suno automatically did that with these auto-generated lyrics, but you can do a little bit more with it. Basically, meta tags just describe what direction you want the song to go in. Like let's say for the verse, you want it to be softly sung. You would just put softly sung, minimal, instrumentation, et cetera, et cetera. And then you close the bracket and that's pretty much it. That just gives you a little bit more control over how you want the overall direction of your song to go. Because everything that is not in brackets is gonna be taken literally as lyrics in this box. And we also have this magic wand icon in the style box, which is just gonna take your simple prompt and try to give it something that talks more in Suno's language and gives it a little bit more description. So this is something that's really good to click when you're having trouble prompting and you just want to get an idea of how to speak in Suno. Now in the custom tab we have these advanced options. We have vocal gender. You can just choose the gender of your vocalist and this weirdness slider which is really cool. I usually like to keep this at 60. That just gives the best results to me but basically what weirdness does is just introduce a little bit of randomness into your generations. If it's up really high it's just going to make a bunch of glitchy nonsense and if it's down really low it's just going to be normal. So I like to keep it around 60 because that introduces is enough randomness to keep it interesting and a little bit more innovative but not completely mess it up and the style influence slider is basically going to tell Suno how much to take into account your prompt so if you have it all the way up it's going to try to stay as 
strictly to what you wrote as possible. And if you have it all the way down, it ain't even gonna care about your prompt. It's just gonna do whatever. So I usually like to have this at 50 unless I have something in the prompt that I really want to make sure stays. Then I'll take it up maybe to like 75, but I never really go higher than that. And also at the top right corner, you have where you can select the model. You've got V5, V4.5, plus V4.5, et cetera, et cetera. And it gives a little bit of a description about what each one of those do. So depending on what type of song you want to create, you might want to go for V3. I usually just go with V5 because it's the latest model, but some people don't like that one as much. And if you don't like the prompt that you made, you can just click this little trash can icon and bam, it's gone and it's gone. Also in the custom tab, we have these three things right here, which are some of my favorites. We've got audio, persona, and inspo. With audio, you can upload a voice memo or you can record directly into Suno and then it can make a song based on that audio. Let's just uh, record something right here. I got a lot of bananas and I eat them every day. Got a lot of bananas and I eat them every day. So you can save that and then you can choose to cover, extend, or save to library. So basically cover is whenever you want to remake something into something else. Like let's say you just hummed something and you want that to be the inspiration for a song. That's whenever you would use cover. Extend is just going to try to interpret your music and then add on a new section to it. And it's going to start from that new section to basically continue what you already uploaded. Add vocals is just going to add vocals if you already have instrumentation and adding instrumental is just going to add instruments if it's just vocals. So for instance, we can go to cover and you can see they already got the lyrics written into the lyric box and they've already written out a prompt for us. So we could change this to be heavy metal. And then also under the advanced options, the audio brings up a new slider, which is audio influence. If you want the melody that you sung or the song that you inputted to have a lot of influence over the generated track, you just keep this higher and if you don't want it to be influenced as much keep this loose I usually keep it higher when I have a melody that I really want Suno to take into account and really want the song to be built around that melody and I keep it loose when I have a low quality recording that I want to let Suno play around a little bit more and have a little bit of wiggle room to do what it wants to but if you have all of that you can just click create And usually if you have like a short voice memo or something like that, it's gonna make a very short song. So if you wanna make it longer, you can just click the three dots, go to remix and edit and click extend. And then you can put in a new prompt if you want to, or just keep it the same and create. And then it's gonna make a longer version. So next up is persona. And this is used if you want to create like an AI band or you wanna have a bunch of songs that have the same sort of style. So whenever you click this, you will be brought to this window. You can see your previous personas or you can create a new one your persona is created based on songs you've already generated so if we just click this one we can set a name for it you can upload a photo or have suno generate one for you and then you can describe its sound then you can save it and then whenever you select your persona it will already have a style associated with what you did before, but you can completely delete this into your own style and it will always follow closely to the song you did before so that it keeps it in a similar style. And then we have inspo, which is very similar to persona, but instead of taking just one of your generated tracks, it takes an entire playlist. So let's say you wanted to make something that's similar to this playlist. It'll take all the songs from that and base the generations, the types of sounds from that playlist. So once you have some songs that you like, there's a lot of things you can do to your songs by clicking these three dots over here. And I'm just gonna go through these one by one. So the first option is remix slash edit, which brings down this drop down menu. Open in studio is a whole separate video in itself. If you want a Suno Studio tutorial, let me know down in the comments and I'll do one. And the next thing is editor. And this is really cool 
cool. You do have to have the pro plan to use this, but you don't need the premiere one. And you can do a lot of things inside of it. So here we are on the editor and you can see that it broke our song into different sections. Got the intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse two, yada, 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 yada. And if you've ever wanted to replace one section of your song or you just wanted to change the lyrics from one section of your song, this is a really great spot to do that. And I'll tell you how to do that. But first let's just go over the layout. So if you go to the bottom, you can see this number, which is just the BPM or the tempo of your song, which is at 82 right now. And if you want to, you can change it. You can make it slower by clicking the minus or faster by clicking the plus. And these are your classic play, pause, rewind, etc., etc. buttons. And also at the top right, they have a learn section, which gives you tips for each thing that you wanna do. The first one is change lyrics or melodies. So try new lyrics or melodies by picking a clip or section. And then you can hit this button if you want to do quick replace or you can use the left panel if you want to tweak it a little more so let's say that you just want to change the verse click on the verse and then on the side you can click replace lyrics and then we can just change this to instead of chocolate or vanilla let's say we wanted to do chocolate or strawberry and then you click replace and then it'll make you two alternates just like it does in the regular create screen chocolate or strawberry and it keeps the same exact vocal, so it blends well. And then you could just click commit and you got your new song section. And if you just want to rearrange the song, you can take the verse, move it over here, and then have the chorus be the first thing that comes on. Putting and finally, you can also get the stems. You just click get stems. Then you can either choose to get all of the stems, like the drums, guitar, bass, and everything separate, or just the vocal and instrumental. I'm not gonna click one of these because it's gonna take my credits. But after you do that, you can download them all individually, put them in a DAW, use them however you want to. And if you made a bunch of edits that you don't like, you can just go at the top and click reset all. And if you wanna look at all your edits, you can click my edits on the left side and it'll show you all the sections that you regenerated. And that's pretty much it for the editor. So they also have the upload audio features over here. So you just, if you just wanna use this as an uploaded audio to do the cover or extend, you can do that. If you click adjust speed, you can just change how fast or slow the song is. So if you wanted to make like slow down or sped up remixes of your own songs, you could do that. And let's say you did this at 1.5, if you just don't do anything but that, it's gonna change the pitch. But you can click keep pitch if you don't want it to change the pitch at all. Then we've got use style and lyrics. Like if you wanna create a new song, but you just wanna use the same exact lyrics and style from that song, you can use crop or replace section, but this is just gonna open up the editor. Then if we go to create, we can make a persona just like we did before. You can remaster, which basically regenerates your same song, but Suno tries to make it sound better. And if we go to song radio, that's just basically gonna make a playlist of a bunch of songs that are similar in style to your song. And if you click this, you can get stems and MIDI. The stems are basically the same thing as in the editor. And MIDI is just what you would use to get different instruments to play things in a DAW. If there's a piano part you really like this in there, then you can get the MIDI for that piano part and then place that in another instrument or something in your own DAW. And then you can publish your song, which just makes it public. You can change the title of it. You can add a caption. You can add a video so that you can make that a hook, well, more on that later. And you can change the image, edit if you want the displayed lyrics to be shown. You could just delete all that. I don't know why you would. Um, and then you can allow comments or allow remix and pin to profile. You can download as either MP3, Wave Audio, or Suno will also generate a video for you. And that's everything for the create section. So now we'll move on to library which is basically the workspace, but more. You can see who you're following, followers, the history, songs you've listened to, playlists you like. And if you go over here to search, you can just search for different songs, different genres. And then we have this new feature called Hooks, which is basically like a TikTok feed, but for AI music. And you can actually remix all of these different songs that people have published here, as long as it shows the remix button. So if you hear that and you're like, damn, I wanna remix that. You just click the remix button and bam, it turns it into a cover like you're uploading audio. And then you can change lyrics or add lyrics and change the style and do whatever you want to the song.
And you can also create your own hook by just going to the top right, clicking create hook, choose one of your songs, and then you can upload a video and bam, you've got your hook. And then other people can remix your music. And then this is the explore page where you can just click any one of these things. If one of those strikes your curiosity or you can roll the dice, have a random song played for you. And then we've got the radio where it's basically like live streaming, but for AI music. So it'll just play a bunch of different songs and then you can vote on what type of song you want to hear next and you can chat with other people. See, if there's anybody schizophrenic up there, they would see that and be like, oh my God. I hope this was helpful. And if you want some place that you can get all this information at all the time at your fingertips, Suno Made Simple ebook available in the description and the YouTube shop. Thank you very much.